कविताकेसरी वेदाताचार्यवर्यो मे सन्निधत्ता सदा हृदी राजदया पात्र ज्ञान वैराग्य भूषण श्रीमद्वेकटनाथार्यम वंदे वेदातक ீரொன்றுமொழியுள்ோமளவும்ாழ்வேமாண்மேங்கடநாதாரியம்ிதாரிகேரி வேங்கடநாதாரியம் கவிதார்கிகேசரிதாஜாரியவரியோதி ராமானுஜதயாபாத்ரம் ஞானவைராக்கியபுஷணம் ஏங்கடநாதாரியம் வந்தே தேசிகம் so we have, we have uh, the beautiful edition shown in the monitor srihi astu that itself is a good beginning uh, well begun is half done so srihi astu so let us all be happy let us all be prosperous let us all be blessed by especially the vaishnava sam according to vaishnava sampradaya sri vaishnava sampradaya tradition that uh, taya the goddess mahalakshmi must bless us earlier uh, even in the case of um, lord brahma the creator saraswati the goddess of knowledge blesses earlier than the husband in the case of valmiki in the same way so let us seek the blessings of um, mahalakshmi especially you may you may envy me because i am in the first divya kshetram srirangam Uh, whereas you are, you are all in different divya kshetras and therefore uh, from ranganaika goddess let us invoke blessings from ranganatha also so we never separate the uh, divine couple at any time because we call her anapaini anapaini inseparable pair so shrimat pranatarthi hara varada parabrahmane namaha Uh, this pranatarthi hara is uh, generally a, a common to lord shiva and lord uh, hari lord vishnu especially those who love kanchipuram more than any other kshetra will have this uh, name attached to vardaraja so pranatarthi hara is pranatanam arthi hara so those who have surrendered will have no trouble will have their sufferings removed by the lord they say varadaraja so whether it is varadaraja or rangaraja we need some king so then again we have um, bow to the aradhya devata of uh, uh, shri vedanta deshika namely shrimate hayagrivaya namaha 
perhaps uh, I, we can say, uh, as it is published in the books also, that the first to stotram is Hayagriva stotram. Of course, so Garuda advised him, advised the, the great author, our preceptor, namely Vedanta Deshika, to the Hayagriva mantra. And therefore, he wrote 119 books and 114 are available within the span of 101 years of his uh, life in a human life here. So then we, we uh, uh, worship the preceptors also, Srimate Ramana Jainamaha. Plus we, uh, we can add two more so, uh, earlier to Ramana Jacharya, namely Sriman Nathamana Yenamaha and Srimate Yamuna Yamana Yenamaha. So we will uh, straight away go, go to brass tacks. So Kavita Arki Kesamha Sarvatatra Satantra, Srimad Vedanta Deshika Virachita, Sri Pancharatra Raksha. So Kavita Arki Kesamhai is in the Tanian as written by his uh, own son Kumara Vardacharya, otherwise called Nainara Acharya. And Sarvatantra, uh, both uh, Sarvatantra Satantra and Vedanta Acharya have been given the what you call the title. Uh, D, DX Mishina. It is called in French DX Mishina. The, through the Bhattacharya, Ranganatha talks and Ranganaika conveys her blessing. And therefore, these two titles were honored. So, yeah, Latin, okay. Latin, any, any English word, um, French word also have the Latin source. Very good. Greek and Latin source. But they are all Greek and Latin to us. And therefore, so Vedanta Deshika Virachita, see Pancharatra Raksha. So one line about the Pancharatra Raksha before we delve deep into the text proper. So Ratri, as we do understand by Tamil also, so night. So the night is a calm time to teach, to write poems in Sanskrit and so on. So especially the earliest morning, what we call Usha, uh, Ushat Kalaha, or Brahma Muhurtaha. So these are all some best times for writing poet, composing poetry in Sanskrit. And also lectures. I think um, Lord uh, Mahavishnu uh, went on line uh, uh, during, see, in the, between the what we call the time difference between USA and the India, Bharat Desha. Uh, so five nights, Pancharatra. So Pancharatra is five nights. The so five nights were, um, were the timings for uh, Mahalakshmi receiving the knowledge from Mahavishnu. So these are all you know, only in the disguise of uh, making us learn all these things. So Pancharatra, by the name, very name itself, we understand that in Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, especially in Agamas, Agama means scripture. As you know, so Agaha, Agamaha means arrival, simple meaning is arrival. So Agama is uh, generally means scripture, but uh, it especially refers to the temple procedures. And we have two divisions under Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, namely uh, Pancharatra and Vaikhanasa. The Vaikhanasa has been founded by a sage called Vikhanasaha, and therefore it's called Vaikhanasa. And Pancharatra has been supported by Lord Sriman Narayana's own book called Lakshmi Tantram. So we have now got a lot of supportive uh, literature for Pancharatra. And in Pancharatra, there are so many divisions in each temple. For example, Srirangam follows Parameshwara Samhita. So other temples like uh, Tirukudandai, that is Kumbakonam, Aramudalvan, that is Paryapta Amrita Swami. So they, follow, they also follow different books. It's called uh, Ishwara Samhita, uh, sometimes um, Padma Samhita, and uh, Melkote, uh, Sampat Kumar Swami Lord, also is uh, 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 taking up some other book. 
So in under Pancharatra Agama. So you find that uh, there are uh, minute differences only among these uh, uh, books. So Parameshwara Samhita or Ishwara Samhita or Samadhar Samhita. So with this small introduction, so Raksha is protection. Raksha is protection. Safety. Safety. So now uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is the meaning. Uh, advocating, Vedanta Deshika advocating the protection of the Agama, especially Sri Pancharatra. So Pancharatra includes, as you know, all the Vishnu temples have different kinds of procedures. Not very different. Not basically different. Uh, so fundamentally they are one and the same. And then so Raksha, protection. So why should we protect? The question arises. He discusses everything from the first line onwards, from the very beginning. And of course, what we understand is so temples must be protected from government interference of atheistic nature. If the government is theistic in nature, then we can believe them. But uh, uh, there is unfortunately, there are a lot of uh, uh, interference from atheistic governments all over the world and therefore especially in India and therefore so we have to be very careful in guarding safely the agamas, procedures, practical applications and so on. So with this small introduction so we may not be able to do much today because this is an introductory class and uh, if there is a doubt, uh, as uh, Keshavada Swami, the host, says, uh, at the end you can uh, give us the opinion. So the one thing that we we don't want to uh, pressurize you to say, namely, it, the uh, the lecture was very good, uh, ex excellent, uh, astonishing, awesome, uh, inspiring, and so on. So we want some uh, mistakes to be. Uh, pointed out too uh, when when we go when we deviate and again uh, so members like Rajagopalan Swami, Raghuraman Swami, and Keshavada Swami have been discussing uh, in the session about uh, uh, different deviations also. Uh, they were seeking uh, uh, their opinions uh, and therefore. Uh, very good. So, welcome to all. We will take up. Uh, uh, so, so, I will see the chat at the end of the session. Uh, hope you will uh, enjoy this. And uh, if there is any any difference of opinion, also you can also air it uh, uh, in the ma mail or chat. Because chat will be temporary, uh, so mail will be good or WhatsApp message. So, Siddhanta Vivasthapana Akhyaha Prathamaha Adhikaraha. So, Adhikaraha, as we understand in Tamil, it is not power, it is right, R A G H T. Urimai. Adhikaraha meaning Urimai. That is, our right is to, our duty, it means our duty is to protect the uh, Pancharatra tradition. So, Prathamaha Adhikaraha. So, Adhikara is the name of the chapter. Doesn't mean either power nor uh, right here. So, it's the name of the chapter uh, given by the author, great author. So, Prathamaha Adhikara. So, Prathamaha first, that means it's also the best, it's also the foremost. So, Siddhanta. So, what is the conclusive, conclusive uh, authority? That's the meaning of Siddhanta. Siddha means successful, Anta means the end. So Siddhanta meaning, so it's a successful end. So that meaning, what, what does Pancharatra profess? That's the essence of Siddhanta. So Vyavasthapana, so how to establish? So first we must know what is Siddhanta and what, why it is established. So this is the name of this, Akhyaha meaning name. Akhyaha meaning name. So it can be used in any gender. 
So akya, akyam. So akya can be also the so akya, according to the lingam, the gender of the Sanskrit language. So he has put it as akya. Akya meaning by name. By name. So Siddhanta Vyabasthapana meaning uh, the uh, conclusion, conclusion is being established. Now, many ideas are familiar to us, and therefore, you need not feel difficult over reading this uh, Sanskrit uh, work. In fact, uh, I was afraid to uh, accept the request of uh, Devendra Sharma from Trinidad to take through uh, Pancharata Raksha, but uh, so with the blessings of the divine couple as well as uh, the acharyas, my acharyas, how uh, I hope uh, we'll be, we will wade through this uh, water of Pancharatar Raksha. Uh, now, before that, uh, let me tell, tell you the Tanian of uh, the uh, my acharyas also. Uh, we have 46 acharyas in the parampara. So I'll say it fast, and of course, uh, need not be repeated uh, in the future sessions also. Uh, so, being the first session, I would like to say, Shimate Adivan Chattakope Itindra Mahadeshika Yanamaha. The first Ariya singer who, have, who has been uh, rather um, uh, bestowed with the uh, responsibility of Matam uh, while he was a Brahmachar. That was an exception. All the other 45th uh, pontiffs of Hohovilamat have the uh, habit of uh, getting married, Grihastha Ashrama, they enter into Grihastha Ashrama and then only uh, Sanyas Ashrama. So the only peculiar uh, first Acharya, the, the incident of first Acharya was uh, from Brahmachari to Brahmacharya Ashrama to Sanyas Ashrama. But some controversies are there. Uh, so let us, adian, 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 adian. let us initially and avoid that. So if there are some, we will. Uh, recently, we were discussing about uh, the musical, because you are uh, related to music field. So we, uh, we we were discussing about the kirtanas, which I uh, mean, and their authorship, and uh, there were there were always uh, different opinions on the kirtanas and their authors, uh, even stotras of Shankaracharya, and so on. Even stotra of Sri Vedanta Deshika, which I put it in the YouTube, uh, because it has been accepted by our Acharya, uh, King Griheshastuti of. Uh, uh, Thiruvallur, Vaidya Swami, Kanakavalli and uh, Mad, uh, Vasumati are the goddesses there, names of the goddess there. So King Riyashya Suti was not written by Vedanta Deshika, that was it. So, but uh, our Acharya said categorically, and the 33rd Arigi Shingar also confirmed it, and therefore... So I shall I'm, I shall tell you only just the, what I know uh, about the three uh, acharyas, which who whom I had the uh, fortune of uh, getting blessed, namely the forty fourth Arya Shingar, Sri Ranganatha Shatakopa Itinda Dastam, Sri Lakshmi Nisimma Shatachit Karneka Patram, Sri Ranga Vira Raghurat Shatakopa Kudyam Vedanta Deshika Itinda Maham Prapadhi. This is forty fourth. So this forty fifth Sri Madranga Shatari. Samyamarad Labdhaka Mantadvayam, Srimad Vira Raghu Dvahad Shatachit Padara Vindashriyam, Srimad Vedavatamsa Deshikete Karanya Vikshaspadam, Seve Ranga Dhurina Sasanavasam Narayanam Yoginam. So he has a special title. So Srimate Sri Lakshmi Nasamma Divya Padruka Sevaka Srivan Shatakopa Sri Narayana Itindra Mahadeshikaya Namaha. Then the present uh, uh, pontiff. So available to us in flesh and blood, uh, 46th Arige Shingar, namely Vedanta Deshika Itindra Katakshalabdha, Rayanta Sara Manamadya Gunam Buddhagriyam, Narayanadya Itidhurya Kripa Bhishiktam, Sri Ranganatha Itishekara Vasudayamaha. 
thank you for uh, patiently listening to the Tanians. And uh, when we start the session, we also advise you to have your own Acharyan Tanian recited in your uh, mind uh, silently before coming to the session also. Uh, so there is no uh, conflict of uh, our uh, our acharyas uh, among our acharyas. So each one can follow their own tradition. And then... so the first verse goes like this. Uh, I think I must have the habit of habit of reading the uh, line and then give you the meaning. Uh, otherwise, it is not possible for me to go fast uh, by giving a uh, a sense of one page or two verses or something like that. So, Chatur Vyuham Param Brahma Shad Gunya Parikarmitam Pancharatrasya Krishnasya Prasotim Pariyupasmahi. So, he says, Vedanta Deshika worships Pancharatra birth. Pancharatra is now born. So, how is it born? It is, it is not handicapped. It's a full, what you call, uh, complete uh, treatise uh, of Pancharatra. So, Kritsnasya meaning in full, complete. Prasutim, actually now it's a birth. So, we normally adore a good child's birth. So, Paryupasmehe. Paryupasmehe. It is not selfish, as you say in uh, uh, Sanskrit. Vande. Vande Brunda Vanacharam. Vedandeshika said it in Gopala Vimshati. But it is little selfish. But uh, whenever we say this sotram, we say Vande. And when he says uh, uh, Saranyam Prapadye in Sri also, he says uh, uh, individually. So, so it is now plural, Bahuvachanam. And therefore, we say all of us worship. All round worship. All of us do all round worship. Paryupasmehe. So, worship is different. As you say, as you know, Nava Bhakti, uh, Nava Vida Bhakti by Prakhlada in Srimad Bhagavatam. So, Shravanam. So, we are now hearing. So, Shravanam and so on. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnoha, Smaranam. So, you need not elaborate because it uh, occupies the time of Pancharatra Raksha. And therefore, the Navavida Bhakti is uh, one of the worship um, types of worship. So, Pari Upasmehe. Pari means around, Upasmehe means worship. We worship. So, Sanskrit sentence is very peculiar. There is no subject necessary at all. Is the only verb is there. So, Vayam is understood. Vayam, we. We all worship. So, what do you do? So, Pancharatra, Si Krishna Si, the full Pancharatra, the birth of full Pancharatra, uh, because it, it is not diminished. In any way, there is no lacuna. There is no lacuna, lacuna there. That's it. Uh, deficiency in, there in the Pancharatra. And then, so, uh, how about... Uh, uh, when we say, when we worship the tradition, Pancharatra, so we worship the Lord who uh, created it. Uh, Chatur Vyuham. Chatur Vyuham. So now let us come down from Paravasudeva, the what you call Pararupam, to Vyuharupam. So we know the four names, Sankarshana, Aniruddha, Pradyumna, and Vasudeva. Vasudeva occurs in every uh, Rupam. So Pararupam is called the Paravasudeva. We call, we call it uh, Paramapada Nathaha name. So we say Param Brahma, the highest Lord, the highest uh, soul, the supreme soul. There is nobody above him. There is nobody equal him, equal to him also. So we are talking about the four. So Sankarshana, so because it involves creation, uh, sustenance, and destruction also. So, Sankarshana, Aniruddha, Pradyumna. You have heard about the names in Srimad Bhagavata as uh, Krishna's relatives also. The Bandhu Vargam, the Kutumba, the family. Then, uh, Shadgunya Parikarmita. 
Shadguna. Shadguna is uh, that is uh, six qualities. He is uh, indicated by the word Bhaga, the first two, two letters of Bhagavan. Uh, so Bhagavan, in the word, there are three syllables, Bhaga and one. So Bhaga indicates the three, I mean, six qualities, Shadguna. There are so, so, so many other explanations may be available for short gunya also. So we are, we are talking about here uh, jnana, shakti, bala, aishwarya, virya, tejas. These are the six uh, important qualities. Whereas the Lord Shiman Narayana, Bhagavan has got unlimited number of auspicious qualities. Yalla illa kalyana gunangal vadeva. But uh, these uh, six are uh, uh, more important than uh, other, all others. So we cannot estimate, calculate the number of auspicious qualities. Uh, so short gunyam is, uh, I mean, this is what my understanding, I said I am subject to correction. So um, repeat, I repeat. Jnanam, Balam, Aishwaryam, Shakti, Tejas, and Viryam. So, Jnanam, so we say all, I mean, omniscient. So, some other words, Jnanam in omniscient. Shakti is omnipotent. Uh, again, Viryam, of course. So, omnipresent is also there because he has got Aishwarya. Leadership. Aishwaryam, again, I used to say it is not referring to wealth initially. Aishwaryam is not wealth. It is not riches, but it is uh, leadership. So the world leader, the 14 world leader is Lord. So including, of course, Vaikuntham. So Nitya Vibhuti and uh, uh, Leela Vibhuti. So he is the master of every world. So we have, so Parikarmitam. He has been another uh, endowed with that's what uh, we say. Or he honors these six qualities. Short Gunya Parikarmitam. These six qualities became popular only because of Lord Sriman Narayana. That, I can, that we can say. And we say in Tamil, uh, rather technical parlance, jargon, in the Gunangalam, our Gunangalam, Embermani shared the Niram We say in uh, Little hard, hard Tamil. Uh, we may not understand directly by these Tamil words. That means they became uh, famous only because of him. So, uh, Ananya Devatastham Tainya Ayate Mahite Vayam. Ananya Devatastainya Ayate Mahite Vayam. Pancharatra Maham Bodhi Paradrishwani Sajjani. Now, we must honor people, good people, who have seen the end of the knowledge, that is what we call, they have crossed over the ocean of knowledge and they have understood what is Pancharatram, what Pancharatram is. So they, they swam across the Pancharatra Maha Ambodhi. A great ocean has been swam across by some people, Sajjani, good people. So we all we are all honoring them and they honor us. In fact, when we read this, Pancharatra, Pancharatra, Pancharatra has become Pancharatra. The Maha Ambodhi, great ocean. Ambaha is water. So Dhi refers to collection. As we say in Tamil and Sanskrit, Nidhi. So in that way, it's also a fund of water, namely a ocean. So Ambhas is water. Para is the end, the other shore. That means the, what we call in Sanskrit as uh, Parangataha. Uh, and the Drishwani, since they have seen the uh, other shore, that means they have uh, understood everything. They have uh, enunciated the principles of Pancharatra completely. That's the meaning of uh, Paradrishwani. But uh, there is a problem here. 
uh, we are not for other devatas. Uh, unfortunately, the opposition comes from other quarters. Uh, we call them Chudra Devata, minor deities. Uh, we have uh, Itara Devata. Uh, so Ananya Devata Stainya. So when we worship uh, Pancharatra, and when we worship people who understood Pancharatra, then we are not to seek the blessings of any other god. So single pointed devotion and concentration are the prerequisites of understanding Pancharatra. Therefore, Ananya Devata. So Anya Devata is all, there are so many deities in, in rather the religion, in our religion called Sanatana Dharma, not Hindu, not Hindu Dharma. So Sanatana Dharma. And in, in, in this Sanatana Dharma, that means the ever existing religion, one cannot uh, destroy it. That's the meaning. So Anya Devata, there are so many uh, deities are there, um, rather uh, lesser powerful deities. And uh, if we say this, uh, many people may get angry, but uh, what to do? Uh, because great uh, people have said this. And therefore, uh, we cannot uh, oppose them. Uh, so, Anya Devata, Sthainya. So, we must have conviction over uh, this God, Shivan Narayana, over other gods. So, we must, uh, so, Ananya Devata, Sthainya. So, we must stick to the guns, so, uh, stick to the principles of uh, this Supreme Soul, Shivan Narayana. And therefore, these good people are great. Mahite. Therefore, we honor them. Uh, vayam, we, Mahite Sajjane, we honor the great people, or rather, we respect the great people because they have no other lenience. Uh, uh, lenience. They don't go to any other god. Uh, Alvar says in one small expression, uh, uh, don't go to Itara Devatas. Um, Matrai Devam Nadidire. Alvar says, Matrai Devam Nadidire. Unfortunately, many people go to other gods without uh, having concentration of only one god. Uh, another Alvar says, Marandum Purandura Manda. Marandum Purandura Manda. Even if you wake them up during sleep at midnight or when they are in deep sleep, then uh, wake, wake, wake them up and say, so who is your God? They will not say other gods' names. Marandum, even by forgetting, Purandora Mandar. Uh, people like us will not worship any other God. This is... Um, so when the when others argue why this uh, single concentration, singular concentration, because we our mind is uh, dissipated, my, my our mind is distracted by by so many um, wants, our own wants, the what you call the materialistic uh, ha hankings, is it? Uh, rather uh, longings. And then uh, so we approach other gods. So this is very important. That's why I stress more important so because that is why the, it is in the, the second verse. It is in the second verse. So now uh, let, let us uh, take the next verse, third one. So this is not, they are not numbered here in this edition. And uh, if uh, possible, the guidance will be given by Keshav Daswami about the page number which we uh, have to take up every session. Uh, and the first word, if possible, so that uh, there is no misunderstanding in continuity. Uh, then, uh, now again, uh, it uh, looks like uh, I mean, hard work because long sentences. And uh, uh, you must know, in Sanskrit literature, uh, as usual in other literatures, uh, 
other language literature, poetry books, prose books, and peculiarity is only in some languages we have prose poem. So this is like prose poem. So some portions of in, are in prose form, some uh, sentences are in uh, poetic style. And therefore, uh, this is, can be called the champu. There's a separate, uh, special name in uh, Sanskrit literature. Champu means gadya padya mai. Both prose and poetry will be mixed. And the mixture is responsibility of the poet. And uh, he must have a, what do you call, uh, uh, right portion of poetry and right portion of prose. Uh, and then again, uh, this uh, this Pancharatra Raksha, please note, it's, I think, uh, Ragasya Grantha, if I am not mistaken, or it's a very difficult uh, uh, book series. But uh, never mind, so uh, let us make it uh, simple by meaning. Uh, Arohan. So Arohantu. First word is Arohantu. Anavadya. Tarka Padavi, okay, Raksha, <laughs> Raksha Grantha, right, Raksha Grantha. Okay, Raksha, this is under the series of Raksha Grantha by Vedanta Deshika, thanks to Keshavadar Swami, because so many Rakshas are there, uh, Charitra Raksha, uh, Nikshepa Raksha, and so on. Yeah, very good. So, uh, Anavadya, Tarka, Padavi, Simadrasham, Madrasham, Pakshe, Kartha Yuge, Niveshita Padan Pakshe Patatbhyaha Paran Sarvan Sarva Anushrava Sara Darshi Darshi Sashiraha Kampa Shirakampa Dijikwe Dijikwa, you can say Dijikwa Dijikwa Ashana Krida Pundala Mauli Ratana Grini Bihi Saratrika, Saratrikaha, Suktayaha. Now I wanted to tell you that the first one I said, said to you just now is Champu. Champu meaning prose poem. So there are definitions of prose and poem. So fortunately, we have a very small definition of prose. And a very big definition, biggest definition in by many authors in writing a poem. There are very great authors, uh, starting from the first author, say Valmiki, Vyasa, Vyasa Vishnu Rupa, yeah? and therefore later on uh, you say Bhasa, Kalidasa, Shudraka, King Shudraka, and then so many others uh, say up to Vedanta Deshika, all great authors are above the, these rules definitions. But still, uh, we, we derive the definitions from these great authors. So one of them is, I wanted to point out to you, uh, that uh, what you call Ojaha, there is a quality called Ojaha, almost like Tejaha, Tejas as you say in Sanskrit. So Ojaha means uh, grandier, uh, what you call uh, sublime, and you can say, uh, oh, one more word I can tell you. Uh, so, Ojaha means uh, majesty. Majesty. Majesty in prose he is advocated, he is needed. Majesty in prose. And Vedanta Deshika uses that majesty equality in the second half of this particular verse, third verse. Look at the word, full uh, line is single word. I mean, two, just two words. Uh, sorry, three words. Three words. Full line consists of only three words. Sarva, Anushrava, Sara, Darshi, Sashirak Kampa, Dvijikvasana, Krida, Kundala, Mauli, Ratna, Vridi Bihi. Single compound word. Samasaha, we call it. Compound word. Then you have Saratrikaha, second word. Suktaya, third word. These are the words in the second line. So what I want to tell you is, in prose, you can write, I mean, anybody can write, of course, with very with great knowledge of Sanskrit, can write a prose book with one sentence in one page with one word. 
one sentence, one word, one page, A4 size. So that we can write, that what you call, brevity is the soul of wit, is a proverb in English, and therefore, whatever uh, uh, we can put in uh, five pages on 10 pages in English or Tamil or whatever language that we know, can be, can be put into just one page in Sanskrit. Uh, sangraha is the greatest quality of, uh, uh, you must have heard the word sangraha, abbreviation, abridgment. So the abridgment is the greatest quality of Sanskrit. Uh, fortunately, there are about 150 to 190 pages of Pancharata Raksha. Otherwise, I will be afraid of uh, uh, Pancharata Raksha more and more. So uh, it is not like uh, bigger books. So you find that, so the, this is the last verse today. Um, so Arohantu. So the, one should, the, uh, many should climb up. Many should climb up. So when, me, when I say, when Vedanta Deshika says many should climb up, please climb up, he says, please climb up. Let them climb up on their own. So we are now climbing up. Uh, we have taken the, what you call, uh, voluntary effort to climb up. So when we say you climb up, that means we have already fallen down. Yes, we have fallen down. Therefore, we have, because we have fallen down, we are to, we are to climb up. Where to climb up, what to, how, we are, how are we fallen down? So let us see. So Arohantu, then so you, you argue with somebody. Pancharatram is good, Vaikhanasam is bad. Vaikhanasam is good, Pancharatra is bad. So Vaishnava Agama is good, Shaiva Agama is bad. So Shaiva Agama is good, Vaishnava Agama is bad. So in that way, if you go on arguing, there is no end to it. And therefore, we must take a faultless tradition. Anavadya. Anavadya tradition. The tarka, the argument that is, the logic that you uh, use should be right logic. So, tarka. Tarka means argument as well as logic. So, padavi. So, padavi is position. So, we say you take a position as in football court. So, you take a position. In cricket ground, you take a position. So, padavi. So, then you go to the border of the position. Seema. Seema. Seema is border. That is, that is what you want to saw earlier as par, um, para, paradrishvani. We saw the word paradrishvani. So para is border. That means we have understood. So we have understood the argument. We have understood our argument. We have understood the uh, opponent's argument. And we have understood that our argument is uh, blemishless. There is no mistake in our argument. Uh, now... Vedanta Deshika is what we call doing, what we call showing Satvika Hankara, legitimate pride. It is uh, allowed. So he is not haughty, he is not uh, uh, proud of himself, but he says Madrasham Pakshe. So on our side, we belong to a party, like political party, we have belonged to a party. So Vedanta Deshika belongs to a party. Pakshe, Pakshe meaning one side. So on one side we have Vedan Deshika and other great authors. Authors. So Madhusham Pakshe, he said he says it humbly. People like me, people like me are on one side, arguing about the faultless uh, uh, Pancharatra tradition. We have seen the border also. We have completely understood it. Where? When did we uh, complete? Kartha Yuga. Even in Krita Yuga. See, we used to take pride in saying that we are born here as Vaishnavas. Our uh, people can, can read Pancharatra, Raksha now. We, we understand Sanskrit and then so on. Because we say that uh, we have been doing a lot of uh, meritorious acts in the previous births. We take uh, pride. 
அது மாதிரி வேதாந்த தேசிகா ஆல்சோ ஃபீல்ஸ் ப்ரௌட் தட் ஹி அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் தி பாஞ்சராத்ரா ட்ரெடிஷன் ஈவன் இன் கிருத்த யுகா த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஈரா இயான் So we have four yugas as we know, Krita, Dvapara, Treta, and Treta, Dvapara, and Kali. We are in Kali, the fourth yuga, this black era we call it. So even in the Krita yuga, the, the Pancharatra tradition has begun. So people like me have understood them even in the Krita yuga. The entry of Pancharatra tradition came into the Krita yuga. Krita Yuge Niveshita. So it has placed its footstep, Padan. It, the Pancharatra tradition is placing, I mean, placed its footsteps on, in Krita Yuga itself. So then what, I, what happened was Pakshe Patadbhya Paran. So we have fallen into the net of the drag, dragging net of the uh, other uh, uh, traditions and we have started misunderstanding that pancharatra is not a good tradition and therefore we have fallen down so we have become enemies to our own tradition paran patadbhya uh, we have gone down that means our mis misunderstanding has been growing increasing and therefore so, so just a balancing between the two so that is what we call understanding that pancharatra tradition is the best mistakeless tradition uh, let us all uh, come up arohantu let us all climb up so let us all climb up over the enemies also let us all argue so well that they will be defeated vedanta deshika was vehement in opposing all the other faiths you must know you must have known from itiraja saptati that he followed ramanuja's philosophy and uh, uh, detested all other philosophies and as we say now not because nathamuni not because of yamuna acharya not because of yam ramanuja acharya the vaishnava tradition uh, was uh, started because before nathamuni also the tradition existed and therefore that argument is there here so krita yuga even in krita yuga pancharatra tradition has been in vogue practice o v o g u e in vogue and then now we follow them in some in our sampradaya sri vaishnava sampradaya also we believe that this tradition is immemorial ramanujadaya patram jnana vairagya bhushanam shri mad venkatanatharyam bande vedanta deshikam kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalinē ಶ್ರೀಮತೇಂಕಟೇಶಾಯ ವೇದಾಂತಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀರೊನ್ನೃತೂಪುಲ್ ತಿರುವೆಂಗಡಮುಡಯಾನ್ ಪಾರೊನ್ನೃಚೊನ್ನ ಪಳಮೊಳ್ಳು ಊರೊನ್ನೃತಾನೇ ಅಮಯಾದೋ ತಾರಣಿಯಲ್ ವಾಳ್ವಾರ್ಕ ವಾನೇರ ಪೋಮಳವು ವಾಳ್ವ ನಮೋ ನಾರಾಯಣಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ನಾರಾಯಣಾಯ